My Hotel. Or is it My Hotel Echoes of the Past or My Hotel Free Night? I'm not really sure. There's three iterations of this, I think. But anyway, I'll read the descriptions of one of them from Steam. Step into the 1950s with My Hotel, as the new owner of a mysterious hotel revive its glory through stylish renovations, solve hidden secrets and master faction intrigues. A captivating blend of history and adventure awaits. Wishlist now for, un for an unforgettable journey. Yeah, I don't think I'll be bothering, quite frankly. And I'm going to start by saying what a steaming pile of detritus this game is. Fine, it's not ready yet. There's lots of work to go. It says that when you play the game, it's always at the bottom of your screen. However, the game's been given to me by the developer. Not thank you. And uh, yeah, it should be out in a couple of days or at least one of those iterations I mentioned earlier. But I don't care. It's just a huge steaming pile of horse manure. And I will go through why. Perhaps I'm being slightly unfair. There's one good thing about this game. It's a lovely setting of an old grand hotel, and the idea of bringing it up to scratch is bloody good. Why not? I don't think there's many games like that. Just going through this old, clearly luxury old building and trying to renovate it and just get your guests in, maybe meet some really interesting people along the way. Sounds like a great idea. It just doesn't live up, though. So the graphics are terrible. You will see in this video how bad they are. It's covered in this really horrible, fuzzy, sepia kind of style and really just looks terrible. The human animations are awful. They have very strange movements. A policeman looks particularly strange. There's two ladies chatting in the lobby, maybe to each other, maybe to thin air. Who knows? But they look like a couple of mental patients, quite frankly. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll see them there as I'm talking, but you'll hopefully get the idea from them and the, the, the policeman and all the other characters. Just absolutely terrible. No lip movement, just awful. The music is annoying it's just a couple of tracks depending on which floor you're on supposedly the ground floor or the lobby uh, or the uh, upper floor i guess where some of the rooms are and there's this terrible constant fuzzy noise in the background i don't know if that's intentional because of this sepia value and you're supposed to be on some crackly old screen but my god can you hear it it's bloody terrible there's tasks in this occasionally you have to wait for things to happen there's a timeline at the top of your screens for random events and quests exciting quests i can't wait to do a quest repair a bloody radiator deal with some plumbing what do you have to do fine i can't wait i'm going to go to one of my rooms and fix something excellent right press the f key oh i have to tap a and d in certain sequences and multiple times and then the thing fixes that's it Every single time you go down the stairs via the lift, which you spend more time in than you do anywhere else in the game. The lift. Uh, okay, great. Why why not make a game about a lift? It sounds so shit, but they do it anyway, seemingly. Uh, yeah, so it's so repetitive, uh, but yeah, it's boring. It's just no fun at all. There are supposed stories in here. You occasionally meet a character from different factions, whether that be the Mafia or some prostitute clan that there seems to be in this who knows they've got their really badly animated tits out in the in this well they're not literally they're just there but cased into some very terrible clothing but it's just not not great and uh, yeah the, these factions sorry I, I digress slightly but these these stories from from these factions are awful oh go and put a suitcase in their room and then go and get it out again five minutes later and go and listen to them running the bath and then go and get their suitcase and bring me the suitcase and i'll give you some oh, it's just utter boring and you've got to apparently keep these people happy i don't know i've got no idea but these are supposed to be fun quest stories that engage you right but they're not there's a couple of situations i tried to maybe deviate a little bit and do my own thing so i thought oh, i'll go and uh, decorate one of my rooms make it ready for for customers to use I have to pay to get in my own room. Like, I couldn't get into some of the rooms because the, the options were greyed out. And you can't go in the bathrooms of the rooms either, but fair enough, that's maybe a separate thing because they're locked apparently for the full game. Fine. But the actual rooms themselves, I have to pay to get in some of them. So, well, what if I just want to go off and decorate one? Do I not have a key? In fact, later on during the game, a master key is referenced to. So I obviously can. Why am I paying to go in my rooms? Ridiculous. There's also duplicate guest names. You see one guest at a time occasionally when they decide to show up. 
and you're supposed to say right this guest can go in room a b or c okay fine but sometimes the names are the same of the guests they look different but they they have the same names and they're very unusual names as well so it can't be coincidence like john smith there's no reason to put certain guests in certain rooms. Perhaps you should say, oh, okay, well, you're a wealthy person. There's something about you. I'll put you in a more expensive room. Or the guests could have a budget. I will put you in a budget room. Something like that. No, nothing like that. There's no reason to put anybody in any particular room, which would make it a bit more immersive. You can adjust the prices as well. Why? There's no explanation about that. Ramp the prices right up. Get the money. Fuck it. Makes no difference. Ridiculous. All the people are single. There's no couples, there's no families. What are you meant to do? Just boring. In the end, I just had to stop. I'm sure I could just play this a little bit longer and I would get to the end because this is clearly some sort of limited access game. I can't do it anymore. I just want to get this video out, done, move on to something else, enjoy my life and not waste any more time. Otherwise, I'll end up sticking skewers in my eyeballs and I'm not really up for that, quite frankly.